Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the SU25 Frogfoot, that is not the T version, but this is the non-T version, and we're looking at unguided rockets. This takes a whole video on itself because we've got so many different types of rockets. So we have, the first type is an S13 with a warhead OF. It's a 122mm diameter unguided rocket, similar to the Zuni type from NATO. Range of 2.5 kilometers, warhead of over 32 kilos, a weight of 68 kilos, which is a hell of a lot, speed of thus, and fragmentation warhead designed for strikes against fortified and hardened objects, pillbox shelters, and so on. We can have them as all of these rockets on pylons 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and we get five of them per pod. S8 type rocket with a KOM warhead is an 80mm diameter rocket, 1.3 to 4 kilometers effective range, warhead 3.6 kilos, weight of 11 kilos, speed thus, 20 of them per pylon, and they are fragmentation rockets with 400 millimeters penetration light armor. It's intended to engage modern tanks, lightly armored and soft skinned combat material. Owing to the fragmentation effect, the rocket also inflicts damage to on manpower. S8 with an OF. P2 warhead, again 80mm unguided, a longer range, a large warhead of 9.2 kilos, total 16.7 for a rocket, that's 20 per pod, high explosive fragmentation rocket designed to engage personnel, soft and lightly armoured targets. Next, the third in the S8 range with a TSM warhead. You can see its various statistics here, and it is 20 times smokes for smoking ground targets. Next, we move into two of the big boys, S24 Bravo. It's a single 240mm diameter rocket, which if you measure that out with your hands is absolutely enormous. Two kilometers range, 123 kilo warhead, which is enormous. Total rocket weight of 235 kilos, which is a quarter of a ton. It's blast frag warhead for large or area soft targets. Next is the biggest of them all, the S25 with the OFM warhead, 340 mil, which is absolutely enormous, unguided 3 kilometers, 190 kilo warhead, which is enormous, half a ton, these come in singles, the 24 to 25, ultra heavy FFR folding fin aerial rocket, high explosive against soft target and concrete targets, if you really want to blow something up then this is what you take. And then at the bottom we have the S5 with the KO warhead, a 57mm unguided rocket, 3 kilometers range, 1 kilo warhead, so very small, total 4 kilos per rocket, there's 32 per pod and it's high explosive anti-tank warhead. So we've armed up our plane with two mighty S25s, two mighty S24s, two pods of 20 each S8 KOMs and two pods of 32 each UB32As. Remember, to allow this aircraft to load, we have to have our canopy open and our engines off and spooled down. As we start the plane, let's look at the controls that we're going to be using today to aim our gun sight glass up and down. We have raise and lower, fire the rockets, press or press and hold weapon fire to engage our laser range finder. We've got laser designator on and off to select air to ground mode we've got that there so air to ground range finder on off to change weapon change weapon in the air now press air to ground mode our current pylon selected will show as the greens here so that's the 32s that's the 20s that's the s24s that's the s25s we'll start with the uh, 32s our dive profile on the target will be from at least 2000 meters agl at a pitch of around 10 to 20 degrees we'll fire with our dynamic laser ranger which we'll have a look when we get closer to the target so the samples run in on the target speed of the attack between 500 and 700 kilometers an hour got to be careful not to over speed turning on to the target laser range finder can go on our reticle appears roughly line up the target so our symbology shows this is our ccip aiming dot here and cross wherever this dot shows is where the impact of the rockets will be if i press the trigger now here is my roll indicator it shows that i'm currently not wings level that there would be wings level 30 degrees right 60 degrees right 90 degrees right when firing the rockets we must be as close to wings level as possible here is our range scale laser range from us slant range to that dot there there to there it will decrease as we get closer and this there is our maximum launch range of the selected weapon that there is our minimum launch range of the selected weapon light green means laser is on red means we are too close to fire and orange means that we are in the range to fire when we are in the range to fire 
I'm going to press and hold the weapon fire button to ripple the rockets until they are depleted. In we go. Careful not to overspeed. In range and fire. 64 rockets. Woohoo! No escaping that. Lovely. Let's change to our next weapon. It, in fact, it's automatically changed to our next weapon because you can see the outer pylons are now depleted. We've now got the S8. When you're off target, do not forget to turn your laser off because we will overheat it. Okay, we're above 2,000 meters AGL, turning in on target. Note that we can tilt our aiming glass up and down if required by the angle of our dive. Angle of our dive, we can see using our ADI there. Going in for the S8 this time. Laser Ranger on. Go for the middle of the pack and fire that was jolly good <laughs> plenty of all those s8 comms nice weapon nice. very good next we're going to go for the s24s these will fire just one at a time laser ranger off 2000 agl turning in laser ranger on you see a very small band of what we can fire this rocket at in terms of range Right, it's got a big thumping warhead. Well, we're over speeding. Breaks out. Fire. And fire. One in each pack. Boom! Boom! Whoops, missed. Lovely. And let's go for the mighty S25s. Laser Ranger off. 2000 AGL rolling in again. Laser Ranger on. And in range. Fire. Fire. And let's watch them in. Oh, thumbing great warheads. Beautiful. Good damage. That's us done here. If we want to get rid of our spent pylons, then left control and whiskey. We'll get them from outside to inside. And that's us clean. That's all I've got to show on rockets. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.